Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will certainly live amazing if you spend your summer up in Washington State. This has been a really special summer for us and we wanted to make this video because we're actually saying goodbye to Washington. Just for this year. But we've been here 10 weeks and we want to share with you some of the fun things we've been doing. We've shared some of them already, but in the last couple weeks, we kind of ramped up the fun. Yeah, we met some people through the channel. Harley and Ramona. They had us over and, and took us out and showed us some sites in Linden, Washington, where they live. And... Um, took us blueberry picking, which was a real treat. We had never done that before and I actually had to make another fruit crisp and the blueberry crisp was the best ever. Absolutely. Talk yeah. about what you and Harley have in common. Yeah, so, so Harley and I were both in the Army and we were both MOS 63 Charlies and what that means is we were track vehicle mechanics. When he was showing us around town, he surprised me by taking me behind this, the museum building there and, and they had an M60A1 tank, which course we both worked on when during our time in the army i'm sure we weren't supposed to but we, we were climbing all over it and, and, yeah. linden is a is a border town and the canadian borders closed and it was bittersweet because we saw these families that were on either side of the border not yeah. able to get together and on one hand yeah. it was nice and yeah, it's nice that they could visit, but but they uh, they are not. You're not allowed to go over there, and they're not allowed to come over here. So, yeah, it was it was kind of sad to see. I mean, it's um, yeah. I don't know what to say about it other than it was just sad. I think the best thing that Harley and Ramona did for us was go crabbing, right? Oh yeah. The area that we were in is known for really good crabbing, and I didn't know anything about how to do a crab boil, how to cook a crab, and we just had a fantastic dinner thanks to Harley. And we learned how to how to open them up and, and all that. We had the real Washingtonian, is that how you say Washingtonian experience? Was Washingtonian? Or Washingtonian. Was I don't know. And uh, the next day we had more crab and made crab cakes. Yes, we did. Yeah, that was delicious. We were staying during that time in La Conner, which has to be one of our favorite Thousand Trails campgrounds. So far, it's way up there on the list. Oh list's. my yeah. gosh. We just love that it was on the water. We love that it was so close to everything that we could, you know, see and do. So here's the thing. We spent 17 days in La Conner, and we did a lot of exploring, and we just don't feel like that, you know, we barely scratched the surface. Yeah. And one of the things that we want to go back and do is go to, is it Deception Pass? Deception Pass State Park. And it's on Whitby Island. And we loved going down to the water there and seeing those beautiful rocks. I was just fascinated with these, these round river type rocks that are on the bay. And then we went biking. It was really special. Yeah. We even took one hiking path that led us basically to where you're looking at the, the bridge that separates Philadago Island from Whitby Island. You could see how fast the current is flowing. We're told that's how Deception Pass got its name. When the explorers came through, they thought it was a river. Isn't it's a it? bay. It's a pass between two bays. So when we left La Conner, we drove from there to a, a little town called Leavenworth. It was a beautiful drive, very, very curvy road. A lot of climbing and, <laughs> and uh, the truck definitely got to work out. We didn't spend enough time in Leavenworth. It's another Thousand Trails campground, but we enjoyed it. There was five miles of hiking trails and we hiked along the water. I took a long run in the morning. The campground is up in the, the mountains behind the, the town of Leavenworth. But we drove down into the town, I think it was an 18 mile drive. Oh, it's so cute. It's a Bavarian town and it, you really could fool people with your pictures that you're yeah. in Germany. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the mountains surrounding it and the, and the uh, architecture that they've done there, it's, uh, yeah. You could easily think you were you landed in Germany. So then after we left Leavenworth, uh, we went on over to here and here's the thing. Um, here is where? Where are we? I don't know. We've been moving so much. We're so used to staying in places for a couple of weeks. Now we're staying in places for just a couple of days. But we are in Little Diamond, which is outside of Newport, Washington. And we drove through a part of Washington that um, is sort of a secret 
if you're not from the Pacific Northwest or you haven't really traveled here, you might not know there's a wet side of Washington and a dry side of Washington. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful in its own way, but it's also surprising to see. Where we're at, it's very wooded. So what's around here is there's a great big lake. Is it called Diamond Lake? Diamond Lake. And yeah. then there's like a little lake in Little Diamond, which I guess is called Little Diamond Lake. <laughs> it seems like a nice campground. We're only here for such a short time, but I think I'd be back. You'd been here before. I was here last year. Well, so should we tell people our learning experience with, so to drive here from Leavenworth, it was a long drive. We knew it was going to be a full day. So we thought, well, what can we do to make it easier? So we did something that we had never done before and we probably will never do again. And that is we thought, well, okay, you know, let's hitch up the night before. So when you hitch up, of course, you want to bring all the slides in. But then once you're hitched, if you're level, you can pull the slides back out. Right. In our situation, we were not in a level site, so it would not be good for the slides. Yeah. We hitched up at 7.30. Yeah, just before, just right around dusk. Yeah. 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 And then the next thing you know, Paul's crawling all over the kitchen island because <laughs> he's not ready for bed. No, I need, I, yeah, I, I couldn't go to sleep. So, so um, I climbed over the island and sat in the recliner, watched some, uh, watched a couple of DVDs. So yeah, yeah. So that was a little inconvenient and, but that's not the worst thing that happened by far. Mango was very stressed out because we also brought in our bedroom slide. There was no place for him to curl up and he, he got really stressed because this was a big change for him. Um, the next morning we had to heat up our breakfast and it was inconvenient to, you know, get to the microwave and stuff, but we got through it. But then, do you want to talk about the worst thing? <laughs> yeah. We, dodged, from we us. dodged a major bullet and it's thanks to her because I was, I was anxious to get on, get out and get, get moving. We had set, arbitrarily set six o'clock as the, as the pullout time and, and we were right maybe a little past six right at that point. but you know all we had to do was get up and you know walk mango real quick heat our breakfast up and go because we'd done everything right but yeah, except for a couple we things we hadn't done two very critical things that that, <laughs> that nearly cost us that probably it would have been thousands of dollars oh yeah oh yeah so okay so we leave you know we shut the door lock it behind us get in the truck i'm driving as i'm slowly pulling us forward three or four feet i'm like hey are we still plugged in? <laughs> Do we still have our 50 amp power outlet still plugged in? And it was taut at that point. Yeah. It was, but no damage. And so we did not do a really important thing. And that is the walk, always the walk around, the last walk around. Yeah. Always you want to walk around. Yeah, it was right. We were really lucky, <laughs> yeah. so definitely learn from us and remember yeah. to do a walk around yeah. every time. Make a list and live by it. Oh, speaking of a list, something else we wanted to share with you is if you have a trailer, a fifth wheel, or anything that you're pulling behind, log the miles. We just started doing that actually last night. Since we got this thing in March, early March, it, it hadn't been that long, so we were able to recreate all of our moves uh, so yeah we know that we've driven this thing now 2150 miles roughly yeah and the reason why you need to know that is that the tires you want to know how many miles you have on the tires and the wheel bearings right yeah yeah you want to lube your wheel bearings on the trailer every 10,000 miles is what they recommend it's just good to know how many miles you have on your trailer so in two days we are going to be leaving washington we've loved our very special summer the weather has been amazing we were tracking 65 and 70 degrees oh, yeah. the whole summer and then yeah. here it's gotten up to over 80 which yeah, is like, almost hit 90 <laughs> yesterday i got to yeah. wear my tank tops i was so excited yeah, it felt like we finally hit summer in september we're going to Idaho. Yeah. And Coeur d'Alene, Wallace. Then we move into Montana. And then our destination of South Dakota. To get Liz her driver's license so she can be an official <laughs> South Dakotian. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to do a video about everything that you need as a full timer to get set up. And we'll also talk about the mail forwarding service that we use. We use America's yeah. Mailbox. We'll show you all that when we get there. Yeah. We're going to interview the owner of America's Mailbox. Well, we have some adventures planned between now and then and some great bike rides. So we will share all of that with you. Yeah. We're going to do the Hiawatha Trail. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, if you haven't already, sign up for our newsletter. We will be sending out the first news letter soon probably within the next month and you will see a list of deals where you can save money on RV parts accessories supplies that kind of thing um, we will put all that in there as well as maybe a recipe or two so just go to lizamazing.com and you will see where you can sign up for the newsletter stay tuned for our follow-up videos on the journey that we're gonna take we love having you with us so just stay tuned and we'll take you with us as we go east not west <laughs> In the last video I said west, but now we're going yeah. east. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get wet. We're going <laughs> to head to dry land. Yeah. <laughs>